Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Trajan, which is a game from Steffenfeld, all about the, the players as Romans doing work at home and abroad to impress our glorious emperor. I'm going to be playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty as always. The changes for two players, there's just a, a, there's some fewer tiles and the time track that determines how long we've got per round is a lot smaller. And yeah, if you haven't, if you don't know anything about Trajan, I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing as I go along. So hopefully I do a good job of exciting you about the game. And I would always recommend you turn on Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes, they will be corrected there. And if you want to find a handheld cameras, there's a static camera linked in the description. Hello, static cameras. It's all your choice, isn't it? So let's go. These are our player boards. This is mine and I'm the starting player. You have to, on your turn, in a Mancala style, you need to pick up all of the colored action tokens that are in one bowl of your player area here, and you move them along one at a time. The space you end up in is the action that you're going to take. So let's say I really wanted to take the forum action as my first thing. Well, there's two tokens in each bowl, so I would need to take the from the bowl that's two away. I would have to drop one in here, one in here, and the last bowl that I ended up in is the action I'm going to take. So that's one thing you've got to be thinking about. The other thing is these Trajan tiles. Now we started off picking three at the start of the game. And as an added bonus, as well as you being able to take a particular action where you end up, if you end up in a bowl that's got a Trajan tile and you match the colours, you get some points printed on the top here, and you also get a special bonus. So while it's not absolutely essential to do a ton of Trajan tiles, it's definitely worth bearing in mind when you're planning out your actions. Now I plan mine out a little bit, but not too much. And the, the two little plans that I've got contradict each other, so it's not perfect. I am going to start off taking a form action because I would like to complete that Trajan tile. Now, as it happened, the color combination that was on the top of the Trajan tile happened to be the right color combination that I started with. You, you can choose your combination, choose how you put these in your bowls. It's two per bowl, but you can choose the colors, but it happens before the Trajan tiles come out. So yeah, I'm sure you can calculate something in that, but I've just randomly put them out. So I want to take the forum action. So I don't particularly care which color goes where. And you can, as you're planning them out, it's good to put them in these middle bits here until you're finished in case you need to take it all back and you can't remember which colors went where. So I am going to finish up here. I take the forum action and I move two action markers. So there were two steps in my movement. So we move the time track one, two to reflect that. And when this gets to the end here, we're going to see a demand. We're going to see a public demand that we need to satisfy before the end of the round, or we're going to lose a load of points. There are going to be three demands. And when we've gone around the time track a fourth time, we will have all of the scoring for the end of this quarter. It takes place over a year and there's going to be four quarters in it. Okay, we've rearranged the action markers. We've moved on the time track. Next thing is the Trajan tile, which is just optional. You you check to see if you have satisfied one. So I've got this one because green and pink are in that section. So I get myself four points, move up the point track here. So there we go, four nil. And this gets me a plus two marker. Now later on in the game, even through the forum action, we can get extra action tiles, these orange ones here. These go on our player board and when we take that action in future, we can choose to spend these to basically take the action all over again. But if we have, and they're spent when you do that. But if we have a plus two tile, whenever you spend the extra action tiles, you get to do the action two more times. So if I really want to be doing something in this game, I want to be, I want to make an action that I really want, a plus two, and I want to look for extra action tiles for it. So my starting little bonus here is at the end of the game, I get three points for each of these commodities that I've managed to send off. Now, as it happened at the start of the game, I didn't draw any of those commodities. So maybe we want to boost shipping so that I can do it more and more and get the cards that I need. And there is a shipping extra action tile available on the map there if we take the military action. So I think I'm going to put it there. 
Yeah, there was a lot of admin before my actual turn there, but we're ready now, honest. So we come over to the forum. All you do is select a tile. The tiles that have come out, these three here are extra action tiles, and these are always going to be in these three spaces. They are different to the regular forum tiles. And these here all relate to the demands that can come out at uh, in each round. So there's going to be three of these demands. We don't know which ones they're going to be. And having these green forum tiles for the demands, you spend them to satisfy the demands at the end of each quarter. There are Trajan tiles with these demands on as well. And these are these satisfy the demands, but they're permanent. They don't get spent like the green ones. So would I like some extra action tiles? Or would I like some to meet the demands? I think I would like to know what they are before I meet the demands. I'm going to take an extra action tile for military because I think I'm going to go and do that. And there we go. All right, that's my first turn. Okay, Marty. He wants to be thinking about getting more of these yellow tiles. You get more yellow tiles by being the person who is furthest ahead in the Senate. You can also be furthest ahead in the Senate, not just by taking the action, but by getting these voting tokens that have, they happen to have come out on the map. They can also be in the forum, depending on how they come out. So I think Marty's going to want to do military as well, but uh, he's going to copy off me and uh, take the forum action as well, because he's got one Trajan tile set up based on how his colors came out. So he's going to put the yellow in there, the pink in there, because this Trajan tile wants two pinks. We move the time track two more along. He satisfies this. He only gets one point, but this is a really, really useful tile because chances are this demand is coming out. Three random demands were removed, so we don't quite know what's going to be in the stack, but chances are this is going to be really useful for Marty for the rest of the game because this never gets spent. And I think while Marty doesn't know what the demands are, he's going to take this extra action tile for the forum. So he can take the action later in the round and be able to take two tiles. Hopefully there's still going to be some tiles there and he'll have some more information about what the people need this quarter. Back over to me and we've both messed up a little bit in terms of we both want to do the military action next, but there is no way to do it. As you can see, this, this is empty. This one's got three tokens in it, so... Taking from here would give you one, two, three. It would take you to the Senate, not the military action. So I'm going to have to do something in the meantime. There is a way, though, of me satisfying another Trajan tile if I go off in a little bit on a little bit of a detour. I can pick up here. All I want is for the pink to end up in here. So I've got green and pink. And you can be really, really planning it out. You can be looking at the Trajan tiles that are available on the top here because you can take an action to get more of them. And we know that the next Trajan tile is going to end up where this arch is. So you can be thinking about colors to put in there or colors to line up so that the next Trajan tile that you take can get satisfied right away. But yeah, that's, uh, that requires much deeper thinking than, uh, than I can do. So we just push those into their bowls. And I have moved three steps on the time track. One, two, three. And I have satisfied another Trajan tile. So I get myself three points. One, two, three. And this gets me two cards. Now this is the commodity card display. When you do the Trajan tile, you just draw two from the draw pile, ignoring those discard piles. And what have I got? I've got, oh wow, perfect. Who shuffled these? <laughs> it's not very good, is it? But hey, that's two cards that are perfect for my tile. If I can get these shipped away, then they're going to be worth three extra points each for me. This is my hand, by the way. You do end up with a display on your player area, but because I can't hold them both in my hand and show you on the camera, you, you get the idea, don't you? It's also good having like commodity cards because there are different ships you can send sets of them away on. So this one wants all different cards, but it's not worth very many points. This wants, you know, two, three, four of a kind and can be worth 20 points if you can get four of the same card. And this one wants different sets of pairs. So I've got a pair now. Okay, then time for the action itself. The Senate action is quite simple. You just move one space forward on the Senate and take the number of points that you've just landed on. And as well as the two points, I've now got two votes in the Senate. Marty hasn't got any. The tokens that you can pick up 
on the map or the forum, they have votes written on them as well, and you total them together at the end of the quarter. So that's two points for me, one, two. Marty is going to go a bit of a different way, I think. He can see something he can do with Trajan tiles. Now, these colors aren't particularly that useful anywhere, although he does want, you know, white together would be good if he got this Trajan tile later and could get it there. But hey, that's, that's in the future. He'll put the two whites together for now. And then he'll just put pink, pink. So he's going to be taking the Trajan action. So there's no tile there, so we don't have to check if he's satisfied one. But he gets to pick a new tile. And he noticed that this tile here that gets you more workers out onto the board wants yellow and orange. This bowl's already got yellow and orange in it. So the Trajan arch moves one clockwise. You put the Trajan tile where the arch was, and it's ready. So if he can set that action off in the future, that's a Trajan tile satisfied. Oh, and almost forgetting, that's three steps on the time track. So we're nearly about to find out what the first demand is. Okay, seeing as we still can't get to military, I'm going to go about it in a bit of a different way. I want to take the construction action. So I can either go one, two, three from here, or one, two, three, four from here. I want to get white tokens in there for that Trajan tile. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Even though that other white isn't going to come in for a long time, is it? Yeah, putting them together wasn't a great idea. Anyway, so we aren't setting off a Trajan tile. We're just taking the construction action. The time track needs to move three spaces. So it's going to be the end of the game round, it's called. There are four rounds in each quarter. So at the end of my turn, we're going to see what the first demand tile is. For the construction action, we need this section of the board. And for your first action, you can go anywhere you like to construct a little bit of the city. Now, the aim here is to match icons. You can get a ton of points if you have sets of three and four of the same icon. You need workers in here to be able to take the main action. So your two options with the construction action. One option is to take a worker from your player mat and put them in the worker area here. And your other option is to take a worker from the area here and put them out in the construction yard. Now there is a little bonus for the first time that you get one of the tiles. You get to take the action that corresponds to it and you can see which action is which on your player board there. So really, I would like to take the, the window tile to build a window. And they're worth points in, on their own as well. So I could take the five point one. You do have to think about in future as well. You want to match sets. And in the future, if I get more workers here and take more construction actions, you have to build adjacently, vertically or horizontally. You can't go diagonally. So you kind of want, you know, these, these roof tiles here are right next to each other, so it would be nice to start building a setup. But there is, you know, if I went here, there's another window there, there's another one there, and then the last one is all the way over there. So I think I'm going to start here, taking this tile. So it's worth five points. I score that many, so I'm on uh, 14 now. It goes into its little section on my player board, and this is only the first time you get a tile of each type you get to take this action. And even though this is a bonus action, I can spend my extra action token to basically get to do it again. So we're taking the military action. So the military action, you have three choices here. Again, you can take a worker from your player mat and put them out here as a legionnaire in this circle. You can move your leader to one of the adjacent regions. So it's these three at the very start of the game. If there's a token in there, you can take that token. Or later on, once your leader is in a region, you can spend a military action to move one of your legionnaires, if you have one in here, to that leader and score the points of that region. And you can only do this if you don't already have a legionnaire in there. And the points are reduced by three for every other player's legionnaire that's already in there. I am going to... I'm going to be using my extra action tile. Let's, let's just do that now and get that out of the way so I remember. I've got two actions here. And I'm going to be moving my leader with both of them. The first one is going to be up here. And I'm going to take this tile. This is basically a wild construction tile. So really, really useful for later on 
if you haven't quite completed your set, or maybe another player has taken what you really wanted, at the end of the game, that can be put into a set of your choice. I don't score anything because I need to... I could use my second action to put my Legionnaire there and get three points, but I want to move over here and take the extra action tile for shipping because we've gone around the houses for it, but yeah, I can take a triple strong shipping action when, when I can line up all of the tokens. Okay, it's the end of my turn, so we can do the end of round stuff where we reveal the demand tile and the people want fire. So Marty hasn't got that sorted out. There is only one tile available in the forum. There, there are two on the map, though, so we could do more military actions to get some. So it's not... Yeah, it's, it's important to think about because there's going to be three demands coming out this quarter. If you haven't met one, you lose four points. Two, nine points. If you haven't done any of them, you lose 15 points. So it can be really, really punishing if you just disregard the voice of the people. For Marty's turn... He could do a few things. Now, shipping isn't his focus, but he could complete a Trajan tile because of that planning that he did. So I think he wants to do that. So if he can maneuver it in such a way so that the green goes there to build up for that Trajan tile, so he can go one, two, three. And we've grouped up colors again, which isn't good. Let's, let's swap those around so that they're apart a little bit. So... That's three on the time track that he needs to move. One, two, three. Trajan tile is completed. So that's going to be five points to Marty. And he gets to take one of his workers and put them in the worker pool. So he has another person ready to do some construction later on. Now he needs to take the shipping action. And your choice is here. You've got four options, I believe. You can draw two from the deck and discard one. It can be anything from your hand that you discard onto one of the discard piles. You can just take a card from a discard pile. You can put one or two cards from your hand into your personal display. And that's basically so that they are considered for the scoring on your yellow tiles at the end of the game. Or you can ship a set of goods using one of the available ships. The first person gets the full points, then they get flipped and are worth fewer points later on. Now these are the three cards that Marty's got right now and the two that he can see. Now this, these, these bottles here are on, if he gets this tile at the end of the round, that will be useful to him. But I think for now he wants to try and form some sets. So he's going to draw two, and so it's going to be gems and a scroll. The scroll is quite good. He has to discard something. I think he's just going to he's going to discard the gems. Yeah. He doesn't know it, though. I've got gems. That could be a nice pair for me. But there's no way of him knowing that. It's just in your hand. So that was his shipping action. Now, I have one of the people's demands on this Trajan tile. So I think I would like to I would like to take from this bowl, no matter which action it is, so that I can put the other white in there so it's ready. It's not going to activate because I didn't take this action. But in the future when I activate that action, the colours are ready. So let's just put the yellow in there, the orange in there. And you can see how <laughs> these things do start to bunch up and you're going to be really advancing the time track like crazy later on to break up those uh, huge chunks. For now, though, we're just moving it three spaces, and I'm taking the forum action again. So, do I just take a gamble on one of the demands and just guess which one it's going to be? Or do I make it so that I can do construction in the future twice with one action? Yeah, I think... I think I like the idea of having more extra actions. If I can somehow get another plus two token, well, not somehow, they're on Trajan tiles. If I can get more plus two tokens and keep getting loads of extras, that would be brilliant. But, yeah, it's, it's a way off, isn't it? I think Marty wouldn't mind getting another Trajan tile. He wants the blue to end up here so he can line up this one. But he doesn't particularly mind where the others go. Although, yeah, if he wants a particular thing, he does care where they go. Maybe he'll line up orange in there. And so he's going to end up with 
Blue in there waiting, and he's doing the Trajan action. And I think he, although he's not uh, really concentrated on it yet, he really wants to get a load of workers out so he could really do a load of uh, construction later. Trajan tar goes, this Trajan arch goes there, so that shows where the next one's going to be. And so that was four on the time track. And doing it a bit late, but we reveal the next demand. And it's going to be helmets. The people need helmets. And yeah, they're available out there. Neither of us have got the Trajan tile that is going to supply them. So we're going to have to come to the forum. Yeah, that's the only place where we can get those this round. I think for now, the time has come for me to do some shipping. I could do a really good action, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to have to take from here all of these. Do I want to line up something in particular in here? Think about getting one of these that's got yellow on it. I could put yellow and blue together, get more in the construction. Put yellow and yellow together, get some more cards. I think that get more people in construction. Let's leave the blue in there. So blue and then let's just mix up everything else. So we're taking the shipping action. And I'm going to spend the extra action tile that I've got a plus two on. So I'm getting three extra action tiles. The plus two doesn't go away. This gets spent. But basically every time I spend an extra action for shipping, it gives me two extra. So I have three actions for my choices. So based on what I had, this has worked out really well for me. I'm going to draw the gems there from the discard pile as one action. So that's another pair that I've got. Then I'm going to draw this, the what, spices, flowers, flowers and bottles. So that's another pair. And whenever one of the draw piles is empty, you, whenever one of the discard piles is empty, you just draw one to replace it. So there's always those to choose from. So that's two actions, drawing from the discard pile each time. The third action, I'm going to send goods off to be shipped. So I have a pair of gems, a pair of bottles, and a pair of wine. <laughs> and that's exactly what this ship here wants. That's 15 points. So I'm all the way up there on 29 at the moment. This ship gets flipped over. If Marty had wanted to ship different pairs this round, it's going to be worth fewer points unless he waits. And these go into my kind of display area for the end of the game to be considered for these points. I wanted to make sure I did that while those cards were still on those discard piles because that was a really good opportunity. Okay, Marty. What does he want to do? Oh, I don't think I moved the time track either. One, two, three, four, five. I'm catching myself. It's still subtitle worthy, but yeah, I'm correcting it. So, Marty. He wants... He could put blues together if he, if he took the Senate action. It's not a really that exciting an action in itself. But he could get this ready for when he activates it by putting an orange in there. He could end on here and put a blue in there and get another worker into the Legionnaire section. Well, the thing to remember for Marty, though, is he can't take the forum action at the moment with the way his tokens are configured. And he's got an extra action for it later. So I think that is a good plan to do this. So he wants the blue to end up in here and then he'll split the other colors up a bit. Yeah, he'll do that. So that is another five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've only got one more go around before we have to fulfill those demands. And Marty's got one. I haven't got anything done at the moment towards it. I'm, I'm waiting on to take the construction action so I can uh, get my Trajan tile. Anyway, Marty is going to do the Senate action. First up, he has done a Trajan tile. That's five points. And he just moves on there and gets himself two more. And he's got himself some Senate votes. So he needs to think about that before long. He wants more Senate votes than me because he wants yellow tiles. The person in the lead gets first pick and it's going to be on its yellow side. The second place gets what's left over but has to flip it to the not so good side. And Marty doesn't get three points each for the other side. So now... Thanks to his Trajan tile, he gets to put a worker out as a legionnaire. And we need to reveal, now it's the end of his turn, the final demand, it's some more fire. Okay. okay I would really like to get to the forum to get this other 
demand tile, but there is no way for me to get to the forum right now. So I think we've lost those to Marty. We could do some military, but one move would just get me the bread, although it's, it looks like Jaffa Cakes, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't just skip to the fire at the back there, so I would have to take another military action. I could do that. If I just hold off on my construction dreams for now. I don't think I'm messing them up. Yeah, let's do that. So I can... I can take the military action. I'm just going to move up here. And that gives me... Oh, that's not adjacent, is it? Oh, so I've just got a completely wasted thing. Where I just have to kind of move to nothing here. But I am next to the flame now. Yeah. And that's two on the time track. Marty is definitely going to go for the forum action. First up, it gives him his Trajan tile. He already had the colours in there. He gets two workers into the construction section. So when he finally starts doing either of these actions, it's going to pay off well. He's going to use his extra action tile for the forum so he can pick two things. And he is going to take the two demands he knows that he needs. He's still short one, but uh, yeah, hopefully... He can get a hold of it before the end of the round. So that was just a one on the time track. I'm going to have to go for military again. So that's just one on the time track. And I'm just moving over, aren't I? Moving over again to get the demand that I need. Because, yeah, at the moment I've got none. I don't think I can... Oh, I can get a second flame. And then I could get the helmet from coming here. But that, uh, that kind of relies on me being able to do the forum action. I don't know if I can. Marty would love another flame demand tile, but I don't think he's going to get to do three military actions before the quarter's over. So he's just going to have to cut his losses and accept that he's losing four points, I think. So what could he do? He could... He could line up the colours that he needs here. He puts the orange there and then kind of splits up the rest. He can take another forum action. Then he can set this off in the future. That's, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So he can kind of force it to end a little bit quicker. And I don't think I could have done it anyway, but just in case, he's going to come here and take the other one away to kind of ensure that I'm going to have to lose a few points as well. And here, I was going to just take from here to activate construction. But that would give Marty another turn before the quarter ended. Now, I don't think he can do anything about getting that demand tile, but I can see that his, his goal is to... Get more votes than get more votes than me and get what get these things. These are face up in front of us, these tiles. I can see that that's his aim. And he hasn't done very well at trying to achieve it. So can I go up in the Senate? No, I can't. I could move my lead take the military action and move my leader again. And oh, I was thinking, oh, that's gonna ruin I'm gonna have to move one, two, three here and ruin my lovely Trajan tile setup. But I don't have to because I can move five here. One, two, three, four, five. Take the military action and get myself some Senate votes. But, oh, no, never mind. Forget all of that uh, arbitrary planning because I need to take this action, don't I? So I have this tile. Yeah. So we're doing some construction. Let's get behind it. We've satisfied this. So that's going to be one on the time track. Oh, no, we're not doing one, are we? We're doing one, two, three. Three, to make sure Marty doesn't get another go. One, two, three. We get a point there, and we've got a permanent demand tile. So I've made it up to 30. And we take the construction action. Since I don't have anybody out there, I'm going to have to spend my action to put someone in the worker pool. But then I might as well use my extra action token and get to actually do something. So the bonus action I would get from the door is go up in the Senate. Oh, so I can do it. 
Yeah, I was thinking going here would be better because it would get me a shipping action. Not amazing, but something good. But then I'm right next to both of these for the future for collecting sets, and I'm on the way to the final one. But I think for purposes of stopping Marty, we are going to grab this. It's four points as well. So I'm on 34. And we get to take the Senate action, which moves me along here, gets me three more points, so 37. And I'm now going to get my pick and get the yellow tile and stop Marty from getting one. So that's a, a little victory, I think. So at the end of the round, we need to meet the people's demands. So they want fire, fire, helmets. I can do fire, fire. I don't spend this one. I have to spend this one. I don't have helmets, so I'm going to lose four points for not meeting one of the demands. Marty can spend one helmet, one fire, so he is also going to lose four points. And that's where we are after all that. Next, we resolve the Senate. We don't have any tiles for votes, so it's my three votes to Marty's two, which means I get first pick here. So this is going to be, at the end of the game, two points for every Legionnaire you've got in a region of the map. Remember, you can take an action to send them where your leader is. Or this one will get you extra points for scrolls and bottles, and I believe I've already sent two bottles off, so this one would be better for me, I think. So I take that yellow side up. Marty is in second place, so he gets this one, but he turns it to its grey side that is fewer points. So now to get ready for next round, we get rid of the demand tiles. Then we reset on the forum back to zero, and the person who is in front goes on top. That's the tiebreaker for anything in the game. So now to reset, we need to flip all of the ships back to where they were. We completely clear out the forum and restock it with orange back tiles here and green back tiles in these two columns. We fill up anywhere on the map that is completely empty, so it hasn't got a tile, a leader, or a legionnaire. And finally, we remove the top quarter year tile to show that we are now in quarter two. And that is the whole first round of the game. So I'm going to stop this video there. And hopefully you've got a good idea of the gist of Trajan. Hopefully, I think I've done all of the actions, haven't I? Yeah, I've done all of the six actions. If you would like to know what I think of Trajan and you've seen enough, then there'll be a link for it there. If you would like to carry on and see how this plays out, go all the way to the end, then there'll be a link for that as well. But thank you for watching this one so far. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.